hey, hey guys, sorry, I, I'm being a little bit choked right now, virtually of course, because of COVID by the fandom. Uh, I don't think they like my opinion on this one. <laughs> hey neighbor, welcome back to Beyond ARTV. My name is John, we're all good, but I did not like the new 21 Pilots single. It's called Choker, it's from their upcoming album Scaled and Icy. I really loved the lead single Shy Away. I thought it was very different for them, very bouncy. I enjoyed the insight to the writing process of Tyler Joseph as he broke it down for his brother initially and then turned it into a song. It's extremely catchy. A lot of people weren't totally on board with it, but I'm still feeling it to this day. It's gotten a lot of spins from me, but I cannot say the same thing for Choker. In fact, I almost feel like it kind of sounds like a bit of a parody of themselves in places. It borrows a lot of elements from different cycles of the band, and then it kind of spits them back out, almost from the perspective of somebody who wouldn't like 21 Pilots if they were trying to make fun of them. Maybe this is what they would make to kind of say that. It touches on the weak aspects of 21 Pilots and kind of compiles them all into one song, and that's unfortunate because Choker does have potential. I just think that they intentionally kind of selected some of the most annoying qualities of it and chose to focus on those. Let me quickly break down why I feel this song sounds uninspired, but stick around because I also want to talk about some of the fan theories with the whole Dima aspect to this and if I think there's any merit to that at all. First of all, I've got to point out those annoying breakbeat style drums that open the song. They're in the first verse, they're in the intro, and I really don't think that they mesh at all with the synth tone that they're pulling out. I think a lot of this song will call to mind for people, maybe regional at best, or even the self-titled album, and I think that it's easy to get lost in nostalgia, but the problem is, is that they're not adding anything to that. In fact, that's where I feel that it kind of borders on becoming a self-parody. There's definitely more drums in the second half of the song, even the second verse, but I still don't feel that Josh Dunn sounds that on point. He's known for catching fire. He gives big performances. Listen to Heavy Dirty Soul. Listen to some of the songs like Jumpsuit from Trench. I know that's not the aesthetic that they're gunning for on this song, but still, it just feels kind of wimpy in comparison. Another thing that I really did not like about Choker is the Ed Sheeran styled vocal sample that continuously loops throughout. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just, just listen. That just straight up does not sound good. It makes the song sound cheaper. Overall, I think the song almost feels a bit plastic and homogenized because of elements like this. The pre-chorus is flat and lifeless. It doesn't really drop into anything all that interesting whatsoever. We just kind of get the synth loop and more of that vocal sample, some keys on top of it. It's certainly there, but it's not elevating the song in any way. And it's not until the two minute mark that we finally get going. And I feel like, all right, now I should put on the seatbelt because we're moving at more than five miles per hour. That part of the song sees a tick up in quality. It adopts more of a sing-along style and it actually suits the mood quite well. Choker gets better from that point. It just takes two minutes to get there for not that big of a payoff. I think a lot of people are probably screaming and crying super excited over the fact that Tyler Joseph rapped in the outro. It reminds them of Taxi Cab or something like that. And I just have to say Taxi Cab and other songs like that where Tyler does rap much, much stronger. Generally, this song doesn't feel like it has a ton to say, and that's why I feel so meh towards it. It's definitely a nice nod, and I enjoy the outro of the song. It's the best part easily, but it just kind of fades away in the blink of an eye. It's all done and over with, and I didn't really think too strongly about it one way or the other. Now comes the time when we talk about fan theories. A lot of people are theorizing that this is Dima controlling the band. There is compelling evidence to back up the fact that Dima is involved. I mean, there's literally like mugs and other Easter eggs just hidden in the music video in plain sight for Choker. I watched the video. I understand what's going on. It seems like they're being captured. It almost reminded me of the ending of the horror movie Krampus, which I really like. That's a side note right there, but I love that movie. A lot of people seem to hate on it. I like it. The movie ends, spoiler alert, with them being trapped in like this little snow globe and Tyler is captured after he's been netted and he's brought back to the store. It's an interesting twist, but a lot of people are saying that Dima is controlling them and forcing them to make mainstream pop music. I take a bit of an issue with this because I feel like fans oftentimes when we can't accept that I say we because I've been there before, trust me, you've probably seen my Green Day video on, oh, there could be a second album. Fans do this all the time. We get caught up in that wave and I just, 
I don't want you to get your hopes up too much for there being another album. I've seen this happen with Green Day, with Kendrick Lamar, now with 21 Pilots. Fans think there's going to be a second album that actually has more meaning, more color, more traditional 21 Pilots elements that actually feel a lot stronger and less mainstream. But to me, I think I have to poke a hole in that theory because this song, it feels like nothing other than 21 Pilots with a bit of a pop twist to it to maybe make it sound like a pop hit like seven years ago? Why, if they were trying to just be making mainstream hits, would they make something that sounds outdated and flat? This doesn't sound like something that would hop on the charts, whereas Shy Away, I could give you that, but it still feels like 21 Pilots. It's a tough spot to be in as a fan that loves their music but doesn't really care about the lore all that much at all. I would like to know what you guys think too. For me personally, I just wasn't feeling Choker. I think they can do so much better. And this is just such a meh song that leaves very little to come back to. I'm going to give it a two and a half personally. Any and all thoughts, welcome down below. Do you think the theories are accurate? Do you think there's going to be a second album? Or is it just something that maybe the fans are unwilling to accept as saying, oh, they're actually putting out something that's a little bit less than stellar or high quality that they're known for, and this is just going to be the only album? It's all just my opinion, so thank you for stopping stopping by to hear my take. If you want to like and subscribe, I'd be very grateful. It really helps support the channel. If you want to support me on Patreon, take it that extra mile and visit the top link in the description down below. Or you can see me talk more about 21 Pilots with the links that are floating on screen now. All of my socials are in the description below, and I'll be back soon for more on Beyond AR TV.